What's, what's the status of the immigration bill in the Congress? Uh, the Senate passed a bipartisan bill that I think it works for our economy. It works to um, provide more opportunity and more prosperity. That's how immigration has, has enriched this country over, the, um, over our 200-year history. Uh, the House of Representatives doesn't seem to want to even move on it. I'm still hopeful they do. We got it through Senate bipartisanly. Um, it's good for our country to move on it. Um, yesterday, the uh, this week, the Democrats had their, in the House had their little retreat, and they floated the idea of a discharge petition to pass the federal minimum wage. Your thoughts on that? I think any way we can get the federal minimum wage increased. It's uh, we last increased it in 2007 uh, when President Bush, my first year in the Senate, President Bush signed it. Uh, the minimum wage today is about a third less in buying power than it was in 1968. Um, so I'm hopeful we can raise the minimum wage um, as quickly as possible. And within that, the tip minimum wage, which has been stuck at $2.13 um, literally for 20 years. And that's, um, that's you know, it's, it's waitresses, it's people that work at um, airports sometimes doing luggage or pushing the wheelchairs at the airports, it's valets, it's people in hotels, uh, and 2 13 an hour for, for that many years stuck there. It's, I mean, I know they get tips, but a lot of times they don't get enough tips to even get them up to the minimum wage. Now, an article in yesterday's New York Times, Senator Schumer floated the idea of the discharge petition for the immigration bill. You, you favor that as well? Yeah, I'm, I'm in favor of bringing these bipartisan bills that are good for our country, minimum wage, extending unemployment benefits, um, manufacturing policy, uh, currency reform that'll, that'll level the playing field against China, uh, immigration, any of these to get the House representatives to vote on it. And I mean, Speaker, the John Boehner wakes up every morning, he's got a choice. He's either going to be Speaker of the Tea Party or he's going to be Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. Um, last week, he went with the House of Representatives when he did the right thing on on fulfilling our obligation to pay our bills as a U.S. Congress. Um, I'm hopeful he does it on immigration. The farm bill that was signed uh, earlier this week, is that good for the country? A uh, farm bill is great for Northwest Ohio. It's great for the country. Uh, one out of seven jobs in Ohio is connected to food and agriculture. Uh, we know the farm bill will be good for um, helping deal with the algae bloom in Western Lake Erie. It's good for nutrition. Um, it's good for rural development in places like Williams County and Henry County and uh, Defiance County. Uh, and it's, it's going to be good overall for our economy. Your thoughts about the newest, latest numbers on the uh, signups and the Affordable Care Act? Well, I, I always want to see more people sign up. I, I know that there's, there are people, we've never seen this in federal law that I remember, people, you know, sort of Tea Party people with a lot of special interest money actively trying to stop people from signing up. Um, we're going to look back in a couple of years and say, boy, this is a good idea. Why was there all this opposition? Because we've already seen 10 million Americans have, have coverage now that didn't have it before. A million people, seniors in Ohio alone, are getting benefits they were not getting before the Affordable Care Act. Um, do you think, I mean, there are a lot of loyal Democrats who are of, of the opinion that the animosity, borderline personal animosity towards President Obama is going to imperil the rest of his presidency from, you know, the Republicans in Congress working with him. I think that some want to oppose President Obama just because of who he is. Uh, I think that's too bad. I mean, the leader, the Republican leader in the Senate said his number one goal was pretty much to get rid of him. Um, that's unfortunate. I've never seen that in American politics before. But the president, he's an adult. We're all adults. We'll figure this out. Uh, we move forward in a farm bill. We're going to move forward in minimum wage and some other things. And my last question, it's a little old, but I haven't seen you since then. Senator Reid uh, going with this so-called nuclear option. Were you in support of him doing that? Uh, I mean, I, there have been more filibusters against Barack Obama in five years than there were in against all presidents in the 200 plus years before that. And so, how, how do you explain that? Well, you explain it because uh, so many people in the Senate just say uh, we don't we want him to fail. We're not going to help him. We're not going to even vote. Not not I don't care if they vote for his nominees. I just want him to allow a vote on the nominees and. The rules change was simply that, give people a chance to vote up or down on these nominees, period. Okay, my last question, we have a... That was your last three last <laughs> questions, okay. My, my, I promise this is my <laughs> last one. Uh, we have a governor's race in Ohio mm -hmm. this year. Who gets credit for Ohio's modest economic recovery? The president, who is a Democrat, or the state's governor, who is Republican? Well, I would say the, the recovery began in the Strickland years with the auto rescue. Uh, look what it did for, not, not just, you know, obviously not just... Um, uh, the, 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 the Jeep plant here, but also the GM plant, also GM transmission, also Magna, also Johnson Controls, all that came out of that. 
unfortunately, we've seen the economy in Ohio lag behind the national economy. Now, we were, we were in a better position than the national economy three years ago. Now, we're lagging behind the national economy. So um, I'm hoping that Governor Kasich sort of changes his direction here and focuses on really growing this economy rather than more tax breaks for the richest people in the country.